Hey guys, so I received a lot of requests to do a video about effects of smoking, both cigarettes and marijuana. So you requested it, you got it. But let me start off by saying I'm very liberal and whatever you want to do, you go ahead and do it. I know some things might not be healthy for you, but in the end it's your life and I'm not going to stop you from doing what you're doing and I'm just here to tell you the facts. So I went ahead and drew this picture for you guys so you guys could get a better understanding. And so you can see here, this is the normal epithelium in the trachea, okay? Notice the shape. It's columnar and it has cilia on top, okay? But when you start smoking, it's going to change to a different type of epithelium. And this is called metaplasia. And so notice how it's going to switch, okay? So it's not columnar shaped anymore. The cilia is not even on top, okay? But the reason it does this is because this columnar epithelium here in the normal individual is really delicate, okay? But when you start smoking, it's like, it's like a stress, okay? So it's wanting to get more rugged, a different type of epithelium that's stronger that can tolerate that smoke. So that's basically a survival advantage, so it can tolerate the smoke. So it sounds good. It sounds like it's going to tolerate the smoke, everything's going to be fine. No, not really because you're not going to be able to produce the mucus anymore and you're going to lose the cilia, which is very important in extruding all the small particles out of your system. And this is why you see smokers always coughing and coughing because they don't have the cilia to get the stuff out, so they get a cough to get it out. So if you keep smoking, it can lead to lung cancer. If you stop smoking, you have a very good chance of avoiding lung cancer if all the layers of the epithelium have not been affected yet. So besides lung cancer, emphysema and chronic bronchitis and even oral cancers can occur. And there can be tongue cancer and they'll actually have to cut out half your tongue. And I know a lot of people who don't regularly smoke, but when they drink alcohol, they smoke a cigarette or two. And this can actually be really bad because it can cause cancer of the larynx because of the interaction with the alcohol and the cigarette smoke. So yeah, smoking without a doubt is bad for your health. Now coming to marijuana. I think a lot of doctors are either against or don't have an opinion about medical marijuana. I do think that medical marijuana can be used appropriately in certain situations, such as glaucoma and um, to actually stimulate the appetite in patients who have AIDS because they're, they go through anorexia and they, they need, their appetite needs to be stimulated. And also in um, post-operative patients after a kidney transplant because Marijuana is going to lower the immune system, okay, and therefore it reduces the chances of that kidney being rejected by the body. But if you're smoking marijuana just for the fun of it, it can cause a lot of side effects, and most of you guys probably know a lot of those. Nausea, dizziness, red eyes. The red eyes are actually due to um, arteriolar dilation, like it's going to dilate the blood vessels in your eye, and that's why they look red. Marijuana can cross the placental barrier, so it can affect the fetus, and it can also enter into the breast milk. So ladies, if you are pregnant or if you're lactating, please avoid marijuana. And it can even cause gynecomastia in males, which is breast enlargement. So guys, unless you want man boobs, you might want to think about what you're doing. And like I said, it's going to lower the immune system, so you're going to be more prone to getting sick more often. And marijuana has more carcinogens in it than the tobacco and cigarette smoke does, but surprisingly marijuana has not been linked to lung cancer. And so I think a lot of things are still controversial, that's why um, some people don't have an opinion on it, and that's why it's not legalized. Um, but I do think there are some certain situations where it can be used if used appropriately. All the information for this video originated in this textbook, was instilled into here, and now presented out to you. That's it guys, thanks for watching.